Hi Aquarius, welcome if you are new here. If you are returning, welcome back to the community and thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's hop right into your reading here. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you asking for the most divine messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Know that we seek the truth even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm. This is for Aquarius, highest good, and the highest good of all of those that are involved. So let's get your spread out and we'll clarify each of these for you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands. The High Priestess. The Devil. The Three of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We have two major arcanas. Okay, both in the upright position. So Pisces energy here. Um, we have the moon. Moon is ruled by Cancer. We have uh, devil energy here is Capricorn energy here. So, huh. We have a maybe and a no about something. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The high priest is all about the psychic abilities and energy and um, spiritual like teaching. So there's some there may be something that you're learning right now. Some of you are maybe learning to listen to your intuition. But it's almost like I almost said devil's wear Prada. Devil, the Devil Wears Prada, uh, which is also a good movie, but some of you could be watching that during this this month. But um, that's neither here nor there. But the Devil energy here, Capricorn, I'm I'm feeling like there could be an a, a pull that could be having happening for some of you. Like it's like your intuition is telling you something else, but then it's like that ego kicks in, which is that Devil energy, and it's like no, go this way instead. Okay, it's like, but I feel like it keeps you in this. Um, holding this holding place this bondage in some sort of way where you and you know that things should be different you know that things look different in some sort of way so change is on the horizon obviously that's what that looks like where you're definitely leveling up trying in a spiritual way intuitively but then there's still a pull to do things like you used to in the past let's see what else is coming up some of you have been waiting for something like your um, something that you've been working on putting putting time and energy into something and waiting for something to pop off in some sort of way or waiting for a phone call waiting for some sort of communication whatever this is I feel like it's it, it it's take it's pulling you away from people that's what it feels like it's pulling you away from connecting and building a team or you know talking about I don't know, talking about things that you're going through, like there feels like there's some sort of disconnect that is coming up for you. So let's let's jump into this, okay? We have the seven of pentacles coming up in your overall energy for the month of July. So it feels like you have been investing something, investing into something. Some of you are investing more time and energy into yourself, into your business, trying to make more money. But could this be that pull that you're feeling like you're investing in something, but then you're neglecting something else? Because there's a lot of, because the seven of pentacles is like, there's a lot of time invested into this. There's a lot of energy put into this. And for some of you, this could even be thoughts, something that you've been thinking about. You're putting a lot of energy into something. I'm going to pull some cards around this. Some of you are um, engulfing yourself in work, like becoming such a workaholic to avoid some of the things that you are feeling. Okay, I feel like this reading, it feels almost like a, um, feels like deja vu from past readings that I'm feeling. So something is coming, something from the past is coming back, coming up for you again. That could be an emotion, could be a person, could be feelings. We have the seven of wands reversed and then we have the four of cups. So now we have two number sevens here. Remember, this is the seven of pentacles, which we pulled initially. Um, so it's something that is making you either overly defensive or something that is that you're sensitive about. OK, 
and and I feel like you I don't know you have some sort of disadvantage in some sort of way where you uh, where it's almost like you're not in charge of making the decision but it makes me feel like it brings back that devil energy of something if there's some sort some sort of pull some sort of supernatural pull or something that is pulling at you in re trying to redirect your energy in some way when you but you know what it is here is Aquarius and you're but that's why some of you are are focusing so much on one thing so that you can distract yourself from what you actually need to to work through some of you are in the position right now where you may be lacking confidence in some sort of way and I don't know if that has something to do with someone someone doing something to you that is making you feel a certain way and this is very odd energy because I know Aquarius to be confident the, the Aquarius that I know that I know them to be uh, be confident but there's also um, there's there's also that part of Aquarius that doesn't really talk about their emotions. So I feel like sometimes that can come off as a um, a false sense of confidence that they may be portraying to other people so they could be wearing a mask and they could be running away from the things that they actually fear because they don't, you, you're fearing facing it head on in some sort of way. You don't want to fight whatever this is, whatever you have put into something, you don't want to fight about it. And so some of you are feeling um, maybe feeling discontent, maybe feeling a sense of disappointment, or maybe even this, in this position of self-pity, but I don't think you're telling people about what it is you're feeling, okay? Because not a lot of Aquarius um, will share their deepest emotions. They just sort of glaze over things. Very intellectual, but sort of will glaze over what they're feeling and, and, and maybe say things here and there to give you hints about what they're going through, but never fully come out and say it, okay? And maybe they have to feel vulnerable, but my thing is, you may be feeling vulnerable with the seven of wands where you may have to say about say something about what you're feeling of what you've been trying to run away from. And I definitely feels like it feels like it has something to do with your emotions, a relationship, or this is something revolved around your career. So some of you may decide to isolate yourself to deal with whatever it is that you're feeling because you need introspection and you need to reevaluate uh, things and reposition yourself so that you can go back into the light and people see you as the person that they know you to be instead of just being who you are. And I'm not saying that you're being fake or faking. I'm, I'm saying that you sometimes, Aquarius, have a tendency to hide your truth. And can easily put because you're very smart, okay, and which could also be can also come off as manipulative as well, because that means that you're not fully showing who you are. You're hiding pieces of yourself to present yourself a certain way to the average Joe Smo or to the world, and you really have things going on, okay? It's almost like it's like your shit don't stink. But it does. It smells bad because you're holding it in. Okay. <laughs> and this is not to get down on your queries. This is what I'm feeling that you're like, there's something that you're hiding from an emotion. You're hiding. Um, you could be hiding your lifestyle. Maybe you're, you know, in the public eye, you have a lot of things. It's very flashy. And, you know, I'm just thinking of things that are coming to my mind right now. And you don't have that much money. Or maybe you do have a lot of money, but you want to present yourself as not having a lot because you don't want people asking you for things. Um, it, it's like a back and forth. It's, it's, it's what I'm feeling. And I, I just, I'm not feeling a level of authenticity, but I do know that you have it within you. It's just there is a fear that you're feeling of really showing people who you are. This is not going to resonate with everyone out there. This is just the energy I'm feeling. Could be a small group of you, but it's time to reveal so that you can heal from whatever you have been holding on to. Okay, so that's the overall energy, um, something that you're holding on to, and something you invested time and energy into. You are having a moment of I don't know if you I don't know if you're in a moment of regret. Uh, you're trying to run away. You're trying to fight the feelings that you have about whatever this is. I just don't feel like it's going to win. I don't feel like it's going to win, whatever this is. And that means that devilish energy that I'm feeling here with that 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 pull that you're feeling, that bond, that connection that you feel that you know is unhealthy. And if for some of you, that is that emotional um, 
that self-sabotage, that emotional connects, connection of toxicity or toxic thoughts, I feel like that can't win in the end, okay? Because you have been doing a lot of work thus far for the past few readings that we've done or just this year in general. There's been a lot that you've been going through and obviously that it doesn't end right now. But I definitely feel like this is another level of something else that you've been holding on to. It's something that you've been putting on the back burner that you now have to confront. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. The Eight of Wands here in your challenge obstacle position. So for some of you, this may feel like things are happening quickly. For some of you, this could be in your career where you have manifested something, you've worked hard at something, and now all of a sudden things are taken off and you're like, oh, I wasn't ready. It would be like I could use the fashion designer because I used to design where, you you know, you you put out, you showcase a dress in, in your fashion show and then all of a sudden you have 100 orders. You're a solopreneur. You have 100 orders to get this dress made by a certain deadline. You're like, oh, shoot, I, I wanted this, but I wasn't ready. So that's what I'm feeling with this. I'm going to pull some cards around this. So I do feel like although your goals may be approaching, whatever it is that is approaching, it feels like there's a level of there's a level of fear, of a level of, ang of angst that comes up because you're not fully ready for whatever it is, whatever is to come. So for some of you, if this is in, re in regards to a relationship, there could be some sort of communication that could be coming in for you that you may not be ready for. Why is the Eight of Wands here? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. All right. So let's see what's happening here. Yeah, things are like this feels like the inevitable with the Wheel of Fortune here. Like there's going to be a turn of events. I feel like you're eventually going to see the good in whatever this turn is, whatever this shift is, but I feel like it happens so quickly for you that it catches you off guard and you're like overwhelmed by this and you might find yourself in a vulnerable position. There's nothing wrong with that, but there feels like there's going to be some sort of shift that it, that happens around something. For some of you, this could be dealing with a person. We have a Scorpio energy here. We also have Sagittarius. I'm hearing this, um, I told you so. I don't know if this is someone telling you that or someone told you this in the past, like I told you so. And I can go into a whole scenario, but Spirit is saying it's like, like I, it's like it's too much. To, it's too much to dissect just by that phrase. It could be someone that was guiding you, helping you through something, could have been a business partner, could be a partner in general, a friend, a family member that's sort of guiding you in some sort of way. And 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 I feel like although this is in the obstacle challenge position, I feel like it is a good energy, Aquarius, like things are changing for the better. But there's something about you there's something here with you. I don't know if you're not accepting it. You're not fully grateful for it. You're not thankful for it. You're unsure about it. Um, it brings on anxiety for you. There's something that is going on here in this position with whatever this is that is changing in your life, career, relationship, or relationships in general. Um, but somebody, it feels like somebody that, somebody that, you're dealing with that has pretty good communication skills and and they're very wise and some of some someone I'm hearing be wise beyond their years they're very honest with you and and for and, and for some reason maybe you're not accepting their honesty maybe you're combative in some sort of way maybe it's forcing you to look at parts of yourself that you didn't want to see or it feels very uncomfortable and you're not ready to open up that can of worms but it definitely feels like there is some sort of shift where it makes you, it may make you defensive in, in a way that somebody could be telling you about yourself. I don't know how that's showing up. I'm going to move on from that energy because it feels like it, there could be a lot of scenarios and I could spend a lot of time 
in this uh, this category. But we're going to say whatever is shifting is good, but there's something that you may be feeling internally around whatever it is that's that's uh, that's changing. Okay. Where you're headed is the high priestess. And that I feel like this is an opportunity for you to trust more, trust what you're feeling, um, trust your intuition. There is a dual an energy that some of you may op be operating in. And I feel, again, it's like the devil and the angel sort of on the shoulders. Like you're like, I don't know which direction to go in, but listen to your gut. You're very intellectual. Okay. I feel like part of you could be listening to the devil energy because you're like, oh, that seems logical, but your intuition may be telling you something different. Okay. Or it could be vice versa. I'm not sure. So it feels like needing to balance both logic and intuition here. So there are some things that are happening on an unconscious level, some things that may be coming up from the past. I'm hearing for some of you that is lingering, that needs to be worked through. Some of you are having dreams about things and people, um, situations that you've been through and, I don't know if you fully know how to articulate what you're feeling or you know how to decode the dreams that you're seeing in order to get to the emotion behind it because some of you are pushing things down into your subconscious. Some of you are very gifted when it comes to seeing things, okay, seeing things in your dreams, seeing things in the physical world, but you're not fully trusting what it is that you're seeing. This is like your intuition kicking in, your psychic ability. So you, that lets me know you have the, a gift of perception. But I feel like you're hiding something from yourself. It doesn't feel like it has anything to do with any with anyone else. Like It's like you're hiding something from yourself. Let's pull some cards around this. This month is going to be about you finding balance um, between that duality that I have, I've just mentioned, reflecting on a lot of things and getting your energy back. Repetition is also going to be key during this time when it comes to taking care of yourself. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's something that you are worried about, overly cautious about that's sort of keeping you in a position of like, no, I just want to keep things like they are. But I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it, like it's a reliable situation or a reliable person. I don't know. This is why like some of you are again in this workaholic state, we pulled the seven of pentacles and then the knight of pentacles is also about that. Like there could be some sort of burnout because you're, putting too much energy into something and you're making yourself miserable in, a, in, in some sort of way. This is why I feel like there's some a denial that is coming up for you. Aries and Taurus energy here. We also have uh, Virgo and Libra. This Queen of Swords also is like an energy that I'm feeling from you, like balancing the intellect and the intuition to have a better perspective because you already have a sense of perception or per, or perception but i feel like it's like putting it into action in some way i'm feeling like moments of weakness that it's coming up for you aquarius that's what i'm feeling but then there's a, a, a you're putting up this uh, a strength you're putting up a a false sense of strength and you're really breaking down in some way. Okay. So I feel like that's where you're headed. It feels like I really don't, I really hate being confused um, and being in, the, in a confused energy in, a, in, in readings and not being able to fully articulate what it is that an energy that I'm feeling. But I think it's because you may be feeling confused, conflicted, um, it's like you have perception, but you don't take action on what you're seeing. It's very interesting. And it also feels very emotional, too. I feel like there's a lot of pent up energy that um, a lot of pent up things, hurts, traumas that you're feeling that you just you're hesitating to. To discuss or to seek help on, and it's leaving you in a state of imbalance. And I feel like you're seeing 
some of those things in your environment, like you're seeing a reflection of what you're feeling in your environment, a little bit of chaos, burnout, you're seeing that and you know that like, that's how I feel, but I'm not going to show anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody that's what I'm feeling because I have to keep going. This is who people know me to be. I have to be this person. And some of you are breaking down in silence. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you are breaking down in silence. Oh, Aquarius. In your near future, we have the devil. So temptations come up for you. But I feel like it's also a, an escape mechanism for you to sort of not feel what you've been feeling, to not do the work that you know that you need to do because you don't know how to do it or you don't want to admit it. You don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want people in your business. You don't want people to see you in a certain light. And so let me just do the things I'm normally doing, party and drinking, you know, multiple sex partners for some of you and I'm not saying that these are bad things obviously doing things in moderation is key to keep the balance but there's something that you're tied to that feels a little toxic and this could be a behavior for some of you it could also show up as a person Capricorn energy here let's pull some clarifiers why is the devil energy here I just feel like you're in the space here you're in a space that doesn't, that is, is very confusing. King of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Wands. And yeah, and it feels heavy. Like some of you are just unsure. You're unsure about something. You're unsure where to put your money. You're unsure who to date. You're unsure if you want to be in this relationship. You're unsure about these friends. You're unsure about your family. You're unsure about what you're feeling. But then there's a stubborn energy because the King of Pentacles is a stubborn energy here. Okay, so Virgo energy, Capricorn as well. Virgo Capricorn energy. Also Sagittarius. Okay, so some of you may feel it may be feeling yourselves um, being lethargic because there's so much that you're holding on to and you're just like, I'm tired. Some of you are just tired in general. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of working hard. You're sick and tired of people. You're sick and tired of not making enough money or driving the same car. Or you want a bigger house and you can't like, it feels like you're just stuck. You feel like you're stuck. Okay. That's what I'm feeling coming up for you in the month of July. And your reading is actually very different than a lot of the readings I've done. The, you're the 11th reading that I'm doing and everyone before you, Aquarius, has been in this position of um, spiritually upgrading. But I feel like you're in the same position too. Because you are the water bearer, I feel like you're sort of, you're in this position. You may even be ahead of them, you know, maybe ahead of them as I look at the uh, progression of the zodiac signs where you're second to last, right? Pisces is the last of the zodiac. You're, um, you're the 11th. I feel like there's things that you've already been through that, you know, some other signs are going through right now, you're kind of like in this, you're in a space. Like, that's all I can really say. It's like, you're in a space that feels confusing, but then you're battling not being vulnerable or working through the emotions because some of you are telling yourselves, when I think I pulled the card last, last for last reading, you're convincing yourselves, not others. Okay. And that could mean that people know that you're going through something, Aquarius, but you're trying to convince yourself you're not. So people are just being patient with you until you're ready to talk about it. So I definitely feel like this is coming up in the near future where you might find yourself engaging in things just to sort of escape what you're actually feeling. So if you find yourself in this energy of, you know, addictions and temptations, it is keep in mind that it is, it's a distraction from what you really need to work through, okay? So some of you may be in a position where you're feeling faithless, you're feeling distress, you're being pessimistic, self-sabotage, negative talk. A lot of these things, that's very devilish energy. So make sure that you're very aware of the intensity levels that you may be feeling that could be coming up for you. In your... Um, advice position we have the three of pentacles reverse so this is telling me you're exhausted you may be isolating yourself you're not happy with where you are you may be in this place where you may be around people but you're different you're feeling different because you're maybe not relating to people 
or you could be hanging around another group where you have nothing in common with them. Like a lot of things are going on here, um, Aquarius, and I just want you to get your happy and your sexy back, honestly. All right, so let's see why this Three of Pentacles is here. Because there is a disharmony, and this is why balance is, is key, which I've said to a lot of the other signs. Balance in the month of July is there is key. Also keep in mind, July is the month seven, right? It's the seventh month of the year. And the seventh month of the year is about, the number seven is about spirituality. It is about consciousness. It's about challenges, personal challenges. So it's, it seems like it's on point that most, uh, like the Zodiac in general is going to be going through some sort of spiritual upgrade. It's just looking like different levels of it for, for, each, uh, for each sign. We have the Ace of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords coming up for you. Yeah, blocked, frustration, you're not feeling inspired. So, hmm, some of you could be feeling haunted by the loss, your troubles, anxiety, panicking about the things, some of the despair that you've been, been through, blaming yourself and blaming other people for things and having nightmares, insomnia. These things are the inevitable that could be coming up for you. Um, but spirit is, I don't know, spirit is asking you to just take the time that you need. Take the time away that you need. That's all that you can really do in order to get into a place of, it brings me back to the four of cups that we pulled here in the overall energy, is to sort of reevaluate so that you can reposition yourself. So meditation is key. It's prayer is key. Getting out in nature and reconnecting so that you can get your happy back, your freedom back. Because some of you have created a prison for yourself. It's like self-imprisonment that some of you may be feeling that could be coming up that is bothering you and it's keeping you up at night. Some of you are having nightmares. It brings me back to this devil devilish energy. So if you are indulging in behaviors that are toxic, just know that those can be magnified and they're going to show up in your dreams, okay? So I feel like you're trying to come to an end, trying to complete something here. But again, you're keeping, you're holding yourself hostage and spirits just want you to be free, re to reposition yourself. So if you need to take some time away from people, take some time off of work, take a, you know, some mental health time, whatever to get yourself back and in, back into shape, whip yourself back into shape because you're the only person that can do it unless you are asking someone to hold you accountable or having a um, an advisor, a counselor, or someone to help you through this, like things will not get better. Things will not get better if you keep yourself in the space. You have to open up and ask for help. You can't do it all on your own. So let down, take off this mask, okay? Take this cloak off, all the things that you're hiding, okay, or sweeping out under the rug here, Aquarius, and just be vulnerable. Be free. Free yourself. Your final outcome is the Knight of Cups reverse. So, you know, you're, you, you may be in a position of finding yourself out of touch with reality and being unrealistic about things, finding yourself being lazy or discouraged by things unreliable, moody, your moods are up up and down, and, and you have some sort of emotional or creative disorder where you're just feeling blocked. I'm feeling a lot of blockage that is coming up for you during this time. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are needing to connect with family, disconnect from family, talk to family. I don't know, something around family, something around friendship. That family could be your chosen family, your blood family. It doesn't matter. There is some, there is something that needs to be worked out with someone or, like I said, someone that you may, that, that may be close to you. Because I feel like we have the Knight of Swords here, the Knight of Swords reversed. That is hostility and aggression. There's some sort of conflict that could be coming out. And I feel like some of you may be in a position where you may be, I don't want to say taken advantage of, but taking out, taking your frustrations out on other people because things are not, um, because you're feeling out of sorts in, in your life. Okay, so this is an opportunity this month to sort of get back in touch with reality so that you can stabilize. Again, reposition yourself. That four of cups is very important. You need a stable foundation. You need to, you need balance, okay? So if you're seeing 11-11 a lot, even four, the number four, this is about your stability. That's what the, that's what spirit is saying right now, that you need to find balance during this month, which is 
again, across the board, that has been the message for most of the zodiacs here that I've done already. But stability is very important. Your mental health is very important during this time frame as well because I could see that there could be a lot of conflict that could be coming up between you and other people or you in, you know, you at work or you in work or you with your money. It doesn't matter. It feels uncomfortable. It feels confusing. It feels like you're stuck and it feels like you're using um, toxic behaviors as an outlet to, um, to escape from this. But guess what? It never goes away until you actually do the work. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that Aquarius. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If this resonates, like comment below, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm so grateful for that. Enjoy the month of July as much as you can. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings to you and love and light. Peace.